daily live at five, your daily motivation, inspiration, relaxation, meditation, transformation, station. Good to have Walker here because Walker's got this powerful gift with kids that I see that when we all got to, uh, I think we were outside of Hawaii and we were at the park and he was helping the kids do the pull-ups for the first time and they got that fear at first, they can't do it. And then they just face it, break through, and they're just like, rah, rah, rah. I remember Walker was there helping them lift them up. Is there no sound, Tracy? And Walker was help boost them up, get their confidence rolling. And from there on out, they were crushing it. Let's make sure we do have audio. Oh, no, me. Perfect. So, the lesson of today is to be a kid again and I was gonna have this message before I actually got up here but I'm up top at Vail and there's a lot of activities going on there's all I mean there's all sorts of things so maybe we'll see a little bit more hopefully not too much wind uh, there's a lot of wind over here but very Bear with the wind for a minute for the view. How Kids are jumping. What's up, Lena? How are you, Mel? Lane? And uh, the message today is be a kid again. And that message came this morning when I was, uh, I went to the this fitness center in Vail Resorts with my friend Vince. And he goes, let's play some basketball. So, all right, let's do a little basketball oh. round. And that kind of led us to uh, playing pig. You know, first you play pig and you start shooting and you're like, man, I'm real rusty at this. When's the last time you played basketball? And, by, and in fact, name one thing that you did when you were a kid that you haven't done in a long time. Name one thing. So I'm talking about basketball right now. When I was a little kid, I played basketball all the time. I had a hoop outside of the house. I had the adjustable hoop where I could take it from 10 feet and then I put it down to six feet and I could run up and just slam dunk it. So you guys remember those days? You know, that's back in the day when we were a kid again. And then, you know, started to grow up, go to school. And from there, you know, you start getting on the basketball team. I remember my really good friends, <clears throat> Scott Riley and Matt Walters, who were on my basketball team when I was in uh, junior high school. And I get on there and I was the point guard usually or the shooting guard. So I was a shorter guy that shot the ball or passed the ball typically. And um, me and Scott and Matt were the three starters that we'd go out there and we all had our specific role. You know, Scott was usually the shooter. You know, he took most of the shots and Matt did most of the blocking and the rebounding. So it was like, you know, we just were kids and unstoppable and on this great team. And I remember our coach, uh, Cromwell, we, he was an awesome coach and I forgot how long he was our coach, but he was our coach for a long time. And during that time of our lives, we all felt like we were literally unstoppable. So today when I went to play basketball, you know, you start shooting and feeling you're rusty, haven't done this in a while, and Vince is like, let's play a um, game of one-on-one -on -one to 11. Like, All right, let's do it. By the time it was two to one, both of us were winded because we missed so many shots. And we were just rusty, and then we were trying to actually do the cardio while shooting, and the follow through. It took us a while, but during that, it we started to like, just become kids again and we're laughing and we're falling over and we're playing getting in our defensive stance and we're just trying to do layups and dribble crossover and juke the other guy and get to the basket quick enough and shoot the three-pointer we're being kids again it's a phenomenal feeling 25 years for me Janet, since since what? You've been playing basketball? 16 years ago, 19 years ago since you played basketball. Walker Garrett, water balloon flights, fights. That's a 
that's a good memory right there. Ride a bike. Jamie, when's the last time you rode a bike? Gymnastics. D, when's the last time you did gymnastics? Lena, what about you? What did you do when you were a kid again? Lane? What's something you did you haven't done since you were a kid again? Because I'm going to challenge you today to go out and start doing something to be a kid again. I think when you go and become a kid again, you get more creative, you get more relaxed, and all of a sudden, whatever is going on in your life, whatever sort of emotion that you feel like is something you've struggled with, it just kind of disappears, and you deal with it in that moment, you know? You just kind of deal with it in that moment. So what's up? I think it'd be cool if you decide today to be a kid again and that you just let it all go. You no longer worry about being all grown up and having to do everything perfect and all our grown up responsibilities and that you just decide, I'm gonna be a kid again because at that moment in your life is when you literally stop worrying and start living like Dale Carnegie said. See, the kids are out there, and they're like, look at this girl right here. See, it's like, how do I get to the next step? Frozen for a moment. Like, mommy, I don't know if I can do it. See? Give a little heart or thumbs up if you remember being a kid. Yeah, look at this kid up here. Look at that. Just being a kid again. So I want to challenge you to do something today. That you figure out one thing that you haven't done since you were a kid and you go do it again today. That's the moment that your creativity will begin to spark again. When anything was possible and you could take it back to that time in your life before all the worries, before all the stress, before all the obligations, responsibilities, before all the limitations and you become unlimited again as a kid. You know, think about how fun that is. And we here at Heal want to help kids grow. So we're going to be putting together you know, different sports, fitness, and education, health facilities across the world. That's the long-term vision. The short-term is just really basic. It begins with self-growth, you growing, self-growth, helping others grow, and financial freedom, emotional freedom. That's it. That's the path. Self-growth, help others grow, financial freedom. You don't want to go too much further than that and, you know, get way beyond. That's like the path, that's the key to a great quality life, to having so much happiness in your life. I don't know what happened there, but that's what you got to do. That's the way to make it happen. You know, there's nothing more to it. And my hopes for you today is that you pick up something and be a kid again. And just if you could proclaim what that is here. Today I did basketball and it was hard. I realized like, wow, I wasn't as good a shape as I thought I was. I was super rusty at shooting it. And then once we got into it, we started laughing and we're carrying on. And next thing you know, we're up here at this adventure park and there's kids everywhere running around just having a blast. So that's kind of the natural path of, I believe, recreating ourselves in the moment. And that's the natural way that all of us can become more abundant in this life. So I'm going to keep today short. I'm going to go play around and be a kid again. And I hope that today you just get that inspiration for whatever it is, whether it was riding your bike or, you know, when you were a kid, you're doing the water balloon fights or, you know, when you were a little kid, you were playing some sort of sports, doing gymnastics, dancing, something you haven't done in a long time that if today you pick that back up again, 
new things will happen in your life. Go climb some trees. Go go out in the park. You know, just have fun. And like, look, kids aren't worried about everything. They're just enjoying and they're living and they're truly the the light of the world is in these children. And all of us have a duty to help other kids grow. All of us have a parenting responsibility, whether we're parents or not, to you know be a kid again, help those kids grow up in this world that's in an abundant manner, you know, full of.